Hey there, God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back. The Lord is to be praised. My name is Brother Brian. This is Love Has a Name YouTube channel, and today is April 19th, 2022. I have a very cool prophetic word from Krista Elisha or Krista Elisha. Um, and I want to share this with you. There is two parts, so I'm going to split it up into videos. This first one is regarding what the Lord shared with her regarding uh, the year of 2022. And she received this in January 2022. Before we get to that, let's go ahead and pray so we can set the stage for the presence of God to come. Amen. And make sure that we are divinely protected armored up because the enemy more and more is trying to get into where he does not belong amen so let us pray and come into agreement together father we give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor you are due lord god for there is no god like you in all the earth in all the universe in all of creation for you alone are the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And we praise you, we worship you, we exalt your name. May you be magnified through your Son, Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, right now, I take authority and power over all the power of the enemy that will try to come against us this day or this night, whenever it is that your people are watching this. Even now at this moment, I command the host to keep, guard, and protect myself, my family, immediate and extended, along with all my spiritual family out there watching this and those who don't even know me, protecting us divinely from every effort, attempt, attack, plot, scheme, wild strategy of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name, and I speak forth, none of the enemy's tactics shall prevail. For we are already the victors and the winners in Christ Jesus. I plead the blood of the Lamb upon us all. And I invite you now, Father, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit, make your way. Come forth, seven spirits of the living God. Come forth, holy angels of God. Come forth according to the will of the Father, even the cloud of witnesses. In Jesus' mighty name. Manifest, Father, as you please. In all of this, we ask that your name be praised and honored. In Jesus' mighty name. And we seal this prayer with the Holy Spirit and the blood. The enemy cannot defeat the blood. Amen and amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Right before I pray for the seven spirits of God. By the way, if you didn't know that the seven spirits of God are... In the word, in case you're thinking this is some foreign doctrine, <laughs> it's not. Let me fix the, the brightness here. The seven spirits of God, you can find that information in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. In the book of Zechariah as well. I don't remember the chapter, but I'm sure you can look that up. You can also find some in, I believe it's chapter 1 of Revelation referenced as the seven lampstands, as well as Revelation chapter 4, verse 5, and Revelation 5, verse 6. These are cross-references for you. Amen? I've already been through that in another video, so I will not get into that. But yes, the seven spirits of God are facets of the Holy Spirit. All right? Let's hop into this word from Krista Elisha. Krista Elisha. It's called Kingdom Family Will Lead to National Revolution. And Krista resides in Oxford, Ohio. The first subheader says, Reviving rain over a barren wilderness. Mm, excuse me. Hallelujah. In January, while seeking the Lord for his heart concerning 2022, I went into a vision. I saw two clouds of glory emerging on the east and the west coasts, swelling with anticipation for a great outpouring of the Spirit to drench the land. 
these clouds then began to move and converge over the center of the nation, bringing reviving rain to the dry places. This outpouring rejuvenated the hearts of the remnant who have been wandering through a hard, barren wilderness. Suddenly, I saw the desert places bursting into full bloom and a radiant bride arising out of her wilderness, leaning on her beloved King Jesus. And here she references Song of Songs, chapter 8, verse 5. The next subheader reads, A great rising of female leaders, clothed in winning colors. Then I saw a great rising of female leaders begin to emerge. They were wild and unbridled. Whoa wild and unbridled lovers of God, of many races, racing into the harvest fields. They were clothed in winning colors, with strategy and team building skills needed to organize and lead a massive move of evangelism into the nation. <laughs> oh my Lord. Do you all see how it just suddenly got brighter in the room? Okay, now, yes, the sun for a moment, I could tell the, the room lit up a little bit more, but even here on camera, it looks, it almost looks like the walls and the color of my shirt are kind of blended in. So that is pretty cool. We did give the Lord permission to manifest, did we not? So thank you, Lord Jesus. All glory be to you. Mature mothers, full of love, grace, and dignity, willing to take genuine risks to see souls set free and lives transformed at any cost. The spirit of fear that has kept the voice of righteous women restricted with bit and bridle will be shattered over the nation, and a resurgence of holy boldness will be like a fire in their mouths that they can't contain. And the next subheader reads, Family Reunion. I see a great family reunion. That's in all caps. A move of the Spirit is a wrecking ball to the walls of separation called denomination. We will see a massive fusion between streams and movements coming together in one accord. The sound will be many voices rising above the turmoil of the world systems to create a choir of adoration and humility. The song they sing is called Heaven on Earth. Mothers and fathers of faith will join forces and run together in the days ahead. The righteous regret over Roe versus Wade has reached a boiling point. Thank you, Lord. Now watch as righteous retribution is released over the weeping women of Zion. This shall be a revival of the house of God, which is the family of God. There is a great overturning happening. State by state to challenge wicked government overreach. The Lord is specifically dealing with hearts to end abortion and raising up reformers in the family and government mountains who will pioneer adoption and foster care reform in order to rebuild and restore family, both spiritual and nuclear. Hmm. Wow. And the last part of this prophetic word. I see new generals and giants of faith who will operate in great power and authority through covenant partnerships. Coming together. Whoa. That's new. Not sure what the whole yawning thing is about. But amen. I will keep reading. <laughs> Perhaps I'm getting fed. 
and I'm just, you know, just kind of, some people, they get a good meal and they begin to yawn and get sleepy. Perhaps spiritually speaking, that's what's happening. I don't know. <laughs> Let's read that again. I see new generals and giants of faith who will operate in great power and authority through covenant partnerships coming together. The Lord is restoring his heart for covenant and the power released through men and women working together will be shocking. Wow. Just as electronic devices have female and male connections. Whoa, that is deep. When we join forces, we complete the power circuit that will release a wave of signs and wonders that we have not seen since the book of Acts. <laughs> Whoa, this last part says a great convergence of pure partnerships between the genders and generations will create a conduit for the fullness of the sevenfold, whoa, the sevenfold spirit of God to be made manifest in regions to call the prodigal children home. Well, would you look at that? As I was praying and I told you just before this, I saw a rainbow and that's why or maybe I didn't mention it, maybe I meant to. When I mentioned the seven spirits of God inviting them, it's because I saw a rainbow in the spirit and the rainbow just kind of swooped by my, my spiritual eyes like, like, in a, um, like in a downward loop and then kind of came up like that. And that's what prompted me to say what I said. And I spoke about the seven spirits of God. Oh, hallelujah. Excuse me all. <laughs> and so here at the very last in the very last part of this prophetic word, here, Krista Elisha refers to pure partnerships being between the genders and generations will create a conduit for the fullness of the sevenfold spirit of God. Seven spirits of God. Isaiah 11, 2. Wow. To be made manifest in regions to call the prodigal children home. Whoa. Oh my Lord. <laughs> well, that, that's all I really wanted to share with you. I will be doing a, a uh, follow-up video with the second part of this, which is specific to April, okay? April and May. So you're gonna want to stay tuned. And in order to make sure that you do get the, the word that is coming and many more, please make sure you hit subscribe, all right? Go ahead and hit subscribe right over here. Turn on your notifications to set to all. Make sure you're leaving some comments. Don't forget to check out the videos up here and down here. And I really appreciate you all. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. And I can't wait to come uh, on here and hang out with you all again in the next videos. God bless you.